Hello, welcome to today's immigration tidbit. Well, if any of you or your friends or your family have applied for a U visa, you know that there is a very big backlog, okay? Um, the, the reality is, is that for U visas, which are basically people who are victims of crime and able to obtain status, uh, that they probably applied years ago and are still waiting. Or if they think that, you know, there's a possibility that they can obtain a U visa in the future, they're going to apply then. So the fact is, is that if there are other ways of applying other than the U visa, you should certainly look into it. And also, I get lots of questions um, such as, well, if I apply for the U visa and then let's say I have an employer that wants to petition me, can I go both ways? And of course, it depends. But, you know, typically the answer is it's like two horses going around the track. Immigration could care less that you have two different petitions going forward at the same time. Basically, from your point of view, the first one to the finish line wins. So it's no skin off your back to do, for example, a family petition or an employer petition if you qualify in addition to the U visa, okay? Uh, now, some people have to do the U visa if they qualify because they're inadmissible and sometimes permanently inadmissible on other grounds. I have clients who are U.S. citizens, uh, sorry, who are married to U.S. citizens uh, and otherwise would qualify for an easy adjustment case for the green card, except they either have a crime that makes them inadmissible or as an aggravated felony, making them permanently inadmissible, or they've re-entered twice illegally, thereby subject, uh, subjugating them to uh, the 10-year bar or the permanent bar where they have to apply for a waiver after staying outside for 10 years. And the U visa allows waivers in many cases where uh, there are no waivers available under normal immigration petitions. So they have to wait, okay? It's that or nothing. So you first have to understand that there's 10,000 U visas issued per year. Now, in most countries, I would think, 10,000 people who are victims of crime per year is a lot, a huge amount, and it would never fill up. Unfortunately, in the United States, there's a huge backlog because there's a lot of people who are victims of crime here. And assuming you qualify, uh, you know, you can apply. But what happens is that after 10,000 have been used up, they can't use anymore. So then they have to go to the next year and start using that allotment for the prior year. And then as the years have progressed, um, it literally is six to 10 years now before your number comes up uh, where they can adjudicate it and and allow it to go forward. And, and many times you'll get a U visa that could be approved, but it will take a whole long time to get there. So you do have to properly plan for this and not think just because you are an unfortunate victim of crime that next week you're going to have the green card in your hand. Even if there was no backlog at all and you got the U visa, you still have to wait three years in which to go forward and, <clears throat> you know, then apply for the green card. So Keeping that in mind, um, the U visa, once you would get it, it does not allow you to travel outside the United States. It does not give advanced parole, uh, and it is not considered an admission. Okay, so there's, there's issues there, um, other issues. Uh, and so you're going to have to be patient in regards to getting the U visa and so forth. And while certainly the law is on your side, if you happen to be the victim of such a crime, uh, the law is the law. And they made, you know, only 10,000 per year available. Who knew there was going to be so many people applying um, because they were victims of crime. So perhaps 
uh, in the future, there will be legislative changes allowing more than 10,000 UVs as a year. If they do allow that, then that'll, of course, shorten the backlog. Uh, but right now, I've seen nothing on the table that they're going to do that. So you essentially just have to wait. So the takeaways here are, number one, it's going to take a really long time to process. Number two, look at other alternatives and apply for them concurrently. Um, it, from your point of view, it's really a matter of money of doing, um, you know, the U visa and perhaps a family petition at the same time. Uh, and you want to, to take all that into consideration um, so that when you do get the U visa, um, you're not unrealistically expecting that tomorrow or next day or next week, everything else is going to go through. Um, and then three, make sure you know you're informed of what waivers you might need. And if, in fact, uh, you don't qualify for waivers under normal petitions and you do for the U, then you have to do the U no matter what. Okay.